Hi, how the fuck are we doing? Are we good? Good? Okay, good. Oh my goodness, guys, 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 it's Friday night right now and I'm gonna do like a little like spend Friday night with me because I didn't upload a vlog on Thursday because if you guys didn't know, if you don't follow me on TikTok, I started doing the 75 hard challenge and I'm vlogging every day like mini vlogs for my TikTok and I started it on Tuesday of this week and then I worked Wednesday, Thursday, Friday and I'm also dog sitting this dude so he needs like big long walks that he looks really creepy right now. And I'm also um, walking my neighbor's dog who needs like 30 minute walks as well And I just I don't know I didn't time manage correctly On the weekend so I kind of folded on the weekend and it kind of set me back during the week But and I need to read my time pages still But I've just accepted that tonight's gonna be a late night because I have a lot of shit that I want to do Like I want to take an everything shower. I want to self tan. I want to maybe redo my eyelashes, but I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, so I might not do that. I just, I miss you guys, and I feel like I've been prioritizing my TikTok a lot more recently, which is cool, but I just need to figure out a way to prioritize everything at the same time and still, like, do the 75 hard challenge and get enough sleep. But I think, honestly, once the, um, once the dogs are gone, like, once I'm not taking care of dogs, it'll be a lot easier. And it's just simply because right now, it's like when I wake up at 5, I take him on a like little 30 minute walk and then I take the other one on a little 30 minute walk and then I like shower, get ready, and I have to leave my house by eight when I go to work at the spa. And I, um, I've been going to bed at like midnight because I've been editing like my little vlogs for TikTok because I don't get done with them until bedtime. Okay, he's smelling the other dog and probably my sweat from my second workout that I did. Hi, buddy. kind of look like a flesh pedestrian like he looks like a he looks like a, a human in a dog suit so now i'm gonna use rosemary oil to oil my scalp i'm actually really excited because last fuck last time i bought the last time i bought the miel brand i diluted it with water for some fucking dumb reason i think it's because i used to just buy straight rosemary oil and I never diluted it and honestly I need to just start doing that again because my hair was growing like and it still is like I know this still helps but when I was just wearing straight up like rosemary oil in one of these little dropper things but I was also a lot more consistent with it so I think I'm gonna start making Friday nights potentially my little like resets instead of Sunday because honestly I don't like doing that and it feel too rushed on Sunday like Sunday's the last day to like chill the fuck out and I feel like you're already working on Friday. You might as well like do your chores. Like you might as well do your Sunday cleaning. You might as well do your like reset everything shower. You might as well do your grocery shopping. You know what I'm saying? Wow, that feels so lovely to have in my hair. Especially because it's like disgustingly sweaty because I've been on a million walks today and I just worked out. Um, for the hair mask, I'm gonna put it on in the shower and stuff, but I'm gonna use the Colleen Wells Child Hair Mask. This one, honestly, is one of the best hair masks I've ever used. And I love hair masks that come in a little tub. Like, these just are so nostalgic to me. They remind me of, like, 2016 YouTube, when, like, people would be like, is this my hair mask? Like, I don't know. I just think it's so cute when they come in a tub. Because I feel like a lot of, like, hair treatments, like, mask treatments now, are, like, you leave them in for 10 minutes, and they come in a thing, and it's, like, that's, it's not as fun. Okay, hair mask is on. Body is washed and exfoliated. I didn't shave my legs because if I learned anything from working at that tanning salon, if you're gonna spray tan, shave your legs the day before or like don't just don't do it the day of because you're opening your hair follicles and that's how the tanner will like get into your hair, like your pores. And you know when they like get dark sometimes because there's tanner in them, that happens. So you can exfoliate. It's best to exfoliate the day before, not like right before because same thing. Um, but anyway, I went to Ulta earlier today and I bought the Loving Tan 2 Hour Express Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. And get this. I think I mentioned this in a different vlog, but I bought the Loving Tan Deluxe. I bought the 
Wow, I bought the Loving Tan Deluxe Gradual Tan in the shade Medium. And I really do like this. Like, it definitely does make a difference. But I feel like this works best when you have a natural suntan or you just self-tan. And you could just kind of use this throughout the week to kind of keep up with your tan. Um, just to kind of make, like, one of these, like, self-tans last a lot longer. So, I, and I don't want to keep using this as, like, self-tanner. Just because I know that it doesn't work as effectively as this shit does. But, so when I went in, I think the big bottle of this was, like, I don't know, fucking expensive. But, so, I wanted to buy the big bottle of it. And then I wanted to buy a face tan. And I wanted to buy a mitt. And it would have came out to, like, over 100 bucks. And then I saw this kit there. And it was the last one. And I, there was no price on it. And I had them scan it and I was like, hey, like how much is this? And they were like $69. And I was like, yeah, it's like this size. And then the tanning mitt. Whoops. And then this is the deluxe gradual face tan, which this is the regular size that comes in. I was gonna get the medium one instead of the dark one, but this came with the dark one. So I'm probably not gonna try it right now just cause I have some like breakouts that are kind of darker. And I, I don't love to self tan my face just cause it, it usually will just sit on my like breakouts or like my scars and they'll just get a little bit darker. So I might do that or I might mix like the tiniest little bit into, oh, well this is a gradual tan. Oh shit, never mind. this isn't the face tan. All right, I just put it on and honestly, okay, I forgot that I got the one with rose because this little thing is the rose edition. When I tell you, I was like, oh my God, like what is that yummy smell? Like why does it smell like roses? Shit, you not, that smells like roses. Also, if you like my shirt, it's American Psycho, and it says, I am scared of women. And I love it, because Mr. Special Someone gave it to me, because, like, he gets it. And I'm like, yes. He gets what American Psycho is all about. Anyway, I love it. Um, went on so easy. Like, it didn't, it didn't feel like a struggle to blend out at all. I don't know if it was the formula or the mitt or both. I'm going to assume both. It is currently 9.56, so I'll, like, wash this off around midnight-ish. I know some people leave it on for longer than the two hours, but I really want to see what it'll do with, like, just two hours. Like, I really want to see how well it'll work. Um, and then probably before bed, I'll do the... What am I saying? I'll do the gradual tan on my face, but I'll mix it in with a lotion to see. Maybe I won't, though, because it's a gradual tan, so I feel like that could be friendly. He does need to go on a walk again. I'm going to start boiling water though because I'm going to make pasta. I'm fucking hungry and I've already determined that my night's going to be a late one and I'm okay with it. I'm very much okay with it. I don't want to wash this pan right now. Baby, don't touch it. It's hot. It's hot, buddy. It's hot. That's one thing about having a big dog. It's scary how close he is to the burner. Like I don't, I get really stressed out when he's doing that shit. <laughs> I made my pasta. It looks so good. Um, I went live on TikTok and it was actually so much fun. Like so many of you guys were on there and it made me so happy. And it was just so much fun to be able to like talk to the girls. Just hang out with all you beautiful fucking lovely humans. But look how fucking ginormous. I love that. Yep. Here are the current vibes. Here, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna watch Good Luck Charlie. I should really edit Cat's Kitchen. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. <coughs> then we'll hang out again. Guys, it's 12:21 right now. Mr. Special Someone and I are on FaceTime and we're playing Sea Battle. And he's pissing me the fuck off. He keeps finding my ships. Fuck. I'm finding his ships too, though. Cause you're a whore, and I know where whores try their shit. And I, it's time for me to wash this tan off. Also, look at what the fuck's going on with my knuckles. What in the hell, bro? Okay, guys. It's 12.53 right now. wash off my tan because it's not like sticky like it doesn't make me feel disgusting okay I wash it off I feel like it looks really good like it looks very natural in my yeah, mind I was expecting something darker because like I'm just used to 
I guess like the first time you take off like a spray tan it looks like weirdly dark but I also didn't use like I wouldn't wear any like underwear or like a top or anything so I don't really have tan lines from it so it's hard to tell I don't know if I'm gonna use the gradual tanner tonight I feel like I should just let this vibe and then tomorrow night I might put on the gradual tanner and see what happens anyway I am gonna exfoliate my face though with the Zio polish I don't know if I've talked to you guys about this before but it's really good it's just like an exfoliating scrub which you're allowed to use physical exfoliants God forbid, somebody fucking sue me. They're really nice, especially if you have dehydrated skin. If you use like um, a chemical exfoliant on dehydrated skin, you're just gonna fuck it up. And you're gonna keep breaking out. I kind of time recommend the ZO one. It's a little pricey, but it's like medical grade skincare, so it's pretty good, pretty good. Oh my goodness, hello, hello, hello. Okay. Good morning, it's actually 2 o'clock in the afternoon right now. I had a very slow start to my morning because I had I didn't go to bed till like 3 last night. But I showed you guys, I showered it off and it looked really good. And here's, I just took another shower just like to actually like take a shower because I went on my first 45 minute workout of the day. I went for a 45 minute walk outside. Um, here is what it's looking like. Like I think it looks really good. My hands... Like, I feel like a lot of times self-tanner will get really weird here and here and stuff. Like, it looks really, really natural. And I got the dark, the shade dark. Um, oh, and this is what the gradual tan looks like on my face. I don't think I showed you guys, but I did use the gradual tan on my face. I put on my, like, I did my regular skincare, and then I took, like, the tiniest bit of that gradual tan, and I... Just dotted it on my face on top of my moisturizer. And it looks pretty good. Um, it did like make like my spots dark. But also that's my fault because I do fuck with my face. So they're darker than they should be already. Like my little breakout. So right now I'm just going to do a face mask. This is the Murad Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Sulfur Mask. It's 5% sulfur acne treatment. Honestly, this mask works wonders. Yeah, I really haven't done much today because, I, like I said, I woke up, but I woke up late, kind of, I, I woke up at like 9, but I went to bed super late, which was really dumb, um, but Mr. Special Someone and I were like playing iMessage games and we were just like FaceTiming, and if you guys don't know, uh, like we do long distance, so, because when I went live yesterday on my TikTok, a couple people were asking and they were like, oh, like I had no idea, and I was like, yeah, bitch, like why do you, why do you guys think you never see him? And, like, I get so excited when he comes. It's because we're, like, long distance. Um, I'm actually going to see him in two weekend, two weekends? I think two weekends from now. And I'm excited. I'm considering redoing my eyelashes. I think last Monday's vlog, I put these on last Sunday. So they've been on for almost a week. And they have no intention of falling off. Like, I don't want to redo them because they look bad. I want to redo them because that's just the way that I am and I feel like I can make them look better there because that's what they look like so basically here I did the like DIY lash extensions that go underneath your eye and I only have two clusters on so one's right here and one's right here and then these are my natural lashes and I like how they look because I have darker eyelashes already like I don't have blonde eyelashes so they blend in pretty nice, but I kind of feel like too, it's kind of just like long and then short because normally I would curl my lashes. I need to start using my grande lash again, actually. These are the ones I use. Somebody commented on one of my other videos. Somebody commented on my last vlog that they would like, they would watch a tutorial for this. I might post one on my TikTok when I redo them, um, but I don't know. I just ordered like these, like I looked up DIY lash extensions on Amazon and I think I ordered probably like the best rated one is there like a my my lens needs to be clean I apologize if this is yucky but anyway I use the 12 millimeter lashes it starts at 16 which would be like long then 14 and 12 then 10 then 8 and I feel like I could probably do a 12 and then a 10 and then maybe an 8. And it would look a little bit more natural. But I really do like how these look. Like, they look very pretty. I'm putting you guys on top of the oven. And I'm just going to cross my fingers. Because 
you can fit behind my oven. There's a little gap, and if you fit, that's a long haul. Anyway, good morning, happy Sunday. Um, it's 9.28 right now, and I'm about to make coffee. Guys, last night I had the best. Was I telling you guys about what I was doing last night? Because I went to Mr. Special Someone's grandparents' house because it was his papa's 70th birthday. And I've never been around his family like alone, right? And like that's kind of intimidating, like being around your boyfriend's family alone. Granted, I've been around the family since like 2020, so that's fine. Um, there we go. I've never done that before, and I'm. It, it was so much fun. Like I had such a good time. Everyone was so sweet. Like just good vibes all around, and I'm very happy and I'm very excited for future endeavors with his family um so i fell asleep with my makeup last night that was interesting but i woke up and my skin low-key like like it didn't break out from that which i was very happy about <sighs> but i'm about to leave because i'm taking my mom to the airport because she's going on like a little work trip and then, yeah, let me tell you about the agenda today. I'm going to leave to take my mom to the airport. And then on my way back, I'm going to stop in at Fresh Market because I really want to go to that grocery store. And I want to get the bacon. I want to I wanna make French toast bacon again. That was really yummy. I actually do need to edit Kat's Kitchen. I don't know why. This has been the hardest thing for me to edit. Like, in my mind, I'm like, no, I'm not going to edit it. Like, no, I don't. I can't do it. I think I probably have, like, in total, 30 seconds edited and like ready to go but I don't have any of the cooking like I don't have any of the bulk of it like I only have like the intro edited